Hello YouTube, this is Dean the Hero again, bringing you another game of Halo 4 Doubles. I'm teamed up with Shadow of Honda, and we've come across Gandhi Hoppin and Sol Crystal. Now you will be watching this game through the perspective of Shadow of Honda, as he has a much better game than I do, as I'm still rusty after being away from playing Destiny for a while. Should still find it quite entertaining. Okay, so on this map I do like to use a jetpack. Unfortunately, that's... Uh, doesn't end up being very effective this time, so Honda has to back off. Now I do end up spawning on Mohawk, so I try and give some crossfire. Honor manages to clean up Dandy Hop in there, but unfortunately Soul Crystal takes him out quite quick. Now as you can see, it doesn't take long before one team ends up on Mohawk and the other team ends up top centre. That does seem to happen on doubles quite a lot on this map, especially as there's only four players in doubles, so the game pace is, is a lot slower. That is quite hard to make map movement. Okay, so I'm under a little bit of pressure here, so he runs away as fast as the little legs will carry him. Okay, now he chases the one shot guy, unfortunately Dan Coffin gets a good railgun kill there whilst under pressure. You know, as you can see by Honda's playstyle, he's quite different to mine, he's a bit more aggressive. Um, he's a better slayer than me, so he does seem to find that quite effective, but maybe that's why we gel quite well in doubles, because we do both have quite, quite different playstyles. Okay, so Honda takes a few shots there and ends up being under pressure, so I managed to give him some support through the window and clean up Dandy Hoppy. You always want to try and stick fairly close to your teammate, especially in doubles. You know, so if the situation does start to go wrong, hopefully your teammate can recover that for you. You can see, quite a close game, 3 all. You know, these are very good players, um, you've got quite intimidating stats. So we don't want to be too aggressive, we just want to sort of test the waters and see what their playstyle is. And try and react to that as effectively as possible. Okay, so we have got two kills there that ends up giving us a two kill lead, so a good position to be in. Yeah, okay, unfortunately I'm taken out there, which you know, drops our lead down to only one kill. Okay, so it's a good position to be in, having one guy in Mohawk, one top centre, it's quite easy to plan for the enemy team. So Honda runs around there and gets gets to finish the one shot guy off. And some very good BR shots there to kill Gandhi Hoppin. So good shots there by Honda, quite impressive. Again, same sort of situation, just trying to, to attack the team from two different angles there. Yeah, really good kill there from Sol Crystal. That looked like a very awkward angle to land the shot, in my opinion, so a great kill there by him. He's been here, someone's using the needler. That will more than likely be me. Fortunately I'm taken out there by Soul Crystal. I managed to get a kill there on Gandhi hopping. And a jump of amazingness there. And if that was me, I would almost guarantee that you'd all be watching my dead body right now. 
You know, maybe there'd be more forerunners around if they didn't build all the structures in the middle of the sky. That to me doesn't seem like the most sensible place to put buildings. But there you go. Okay, so two kill lead, so a good position for us to be in now. Okay, so I managed to take out Soul Crystal, but then Gandhi Hoppy comes in and, and finishes the kill on me. Good rail done there by Honda, killing the jetpack, and sometimes that can be quite a hard angle to hit. Now we do know a guy is stood on the bottom of Red Street with a saw, but me and my excellent decision making skills decided to go and challenge that. So yeah, obviously a bad decision, it's not something that I should have done, but Honda gets a good kill there through the window. Ah! It's a Honda taken out there quite quickly. I'm just trying to stay alive now with it being a 2v1 situation, I'm just not able to do that. Okay, so a 2v1 situation with the saw, not something that you want to try and take on. That's why I just try and give some support fire there for Honda to get his shields back. And really, we just want to get out of here. It's not, not the sort of situation where you want to, want to be challenging, it's, it's not going to end well for you. Okay, so railguns just spawned, so we try and get there before them. Unfortunately, they get there before us, which means they have even more power weapons now. Okay, so the jetpack comes up where with the sword. There's not a lot that I'm not going to have done in that situation. Honda again picking up the speed boost. That's not something that I usually do. He must know something that I don't. Um, usually when I've got the speed boost, the safest place for the enemies to stand is in front of my gun because I can't get anything with it. But Honda seems to use it more effectively than me, so if that's what he wants to use, then, then good stuff for him. It's a three kills ahead with four minutes. Still a very close game, but three ki three kills is a uh, is enough to for us to just relax a little bit. Okay, so we know they've got both power weapons. They have a saw and a rail gun between them, so we don't really want to challenge him too much. We just need to try and take these weapons out of their hands. No, I managed to kill Gandhi Hop in there. Unfortunately, Honda does get a bad spawn here, and he spawns on the opposite side of the map. So not not a lot I could have done there. You know, just 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 an unlucky spawn. So the blue team did well to to capitalise on that and, and take him out fairly quick. Okay, so we managed to take them both out there, which gives us their weapons. Now I dropped the railgun for Honda. Um, I don't need both weapons. You always want to try and split the weapons between your teammates. You know, a selfish player is not the sort of player you want on your side. You know, even if one player is not as good as the other, you still want to be splitting those weapons. Okay, so easy, easy rail gun kill there. Gives us a 5 kill lead now. It's a great, great position to be in. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I always find it strange that you see people running around using thruster patch. So I think everyone knows that real men use camo. I'm taken out there by Soul Crystal. Unfortunately, there's a jack in the box and a scatter shot waiting on bottom blue street. So, took Honda there by surprise. Okay, so Honda now is going for the rail gun. And both their guys are around Mohawk area, so it's my job just to try and distract them. And just long enough so Honda can get this last power weapon. There's only 1 minute 30 left and we 4 kills ahead. So we don't we don't really need the kills now, we just need to play smart and make sure that we don't get 4 deaths. We don't really need to, to push for any kills. They need a kill, 1 kill every 15 seconds, so as long as we can stay alive for more than that then the game's gonna be ours. One minute to win. Okay, so rather than battling it out top centre, we just decide to, to move on to Red Street. As you can see here, I sneak round, try to be a little bit cocky with the needler, and get punished for that straight away. Ordinance uh, some of the decisions that I made in this game weren't weren't the best. One of the reasons why you're watching it from Honda's point of view. The good use of the thruster pack there to get back and cover. Okay, so 10 seconds left, we end up being 5 kills ahead. Um, I actually do go minus 1 this game, but Honda does a great job of carrying me. Um, very good, very good enemy players. We, we just, you know, we just had a better game than them, that's all it was. So, good stuff, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it's quite good to see a different technique, you know, Honda does play quite differently to me, so it's, it's always good if you can see how we both work together. And, Maybe if, if you're struggling doubles or you just want to take some tips, you know, maybe trying different play styles will help you. But anyway, that was a good doubles game from, from Honda's point of view, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll bring you some more stuff when I've got some. Thank you very much.